How to Trigger a Narcissist in just 30 seconds. This is a very straightforward video. If you want to trigger the narcissist, which of course is read to mean provoke fury from the narcissist, then the simplest way to do this is to play Celine Dion. We narcissists hate Celine. There you are. Simple enough, yes? Of course, I'm joking, although you would not get an impressed response from your faithful narrator here if you were to play Celine Dion to me. But leaving the Canadian warbler to one side, can you make a narcissist be triggered within 30 seconds? The short answer is yes, and invariably you probably do it many times without actually realising what it is that you're doing. The way to trigger, if we use that term, a narcissist, is, of course, to threaten our control. There are two ways in which you can do that. The first is through the provision of challenge fuel. Many people think that if they turn to the narcissist and say, you low-down piece of scum, you're useless at your job, you're lousy in the sack, you smell, I hate you, your hairstyle's crap, and I wish I'd never met you. And the narcissist goes berserk. They think, fantastic, I've wounded the narcissist. I've triggered him. Well, you've certainly triggered him to go berserk at you, but you didn't wound the narcissist. What happened there is the provision of what is known as challenge fuel. If you want to understand more about that, you need to access the three interactions with the narcissist, which will find in the knowledge vault. But where you say something to the narcissist, where you do something which is accompanied with fuel, which of course is going to be nearly everything that you do when you're with a narcissist, you issue challenge fuel. The fuel isn't the problem. Of course, we want that. However, the problem for us is the challenge that you create to us, the fact that you are threatening our sense of control. As you know, because we've been forged from a genetic predisposition towards narcissism, allied from with a lack of control environment, and there are lots of different lack of control environments, we become hypersensitive to threats to our control. So if you do something which threatens our control, you will cause the narcissist to respond in a particular way. How the narcissist responds, however, will vary, and it's something I'm going to come back to. The second way by which you can trigger the narcissist is, of course, to wound us. Wounding, contrary to people's misunderstanding, is where you don't do something, where you walk away from us, where you don't answer the door, you don't answer your telephone to us, either deliberately or just because you're in the shower, that you fail to respond to a text message, that you forget our birthday. All of those things wound us. And again, if you want to understand wounding in detail, then I recommend that you obtain the three interactions with the narcissist. Challenge fuel and wounding both threaten our control, which means that our narcissism must respond on our behalf to ensure that that threat to our control is nullified. This happens instinctively with a lesser or mid-range narcissist and in a calculated and conscious method where you're dealing with a greater or ultra-narcissist. Now, you may want to cause the trigger in the narcissist by threatening control. And believe me, you will do that without even having to think about it. You will, tr you will affect the narcissist's control by asking an innocent question when you've suddenly been shunted to being painted black because something else has altered in the fuel matrix. You can threaten a narcissist's control by asking them simply, how's your day been? And that can result in the narcissist th responding to you in what you might refer to as a triggered manner by lashing out at you. Therefore, in such circumstances, there are going to be many, many, many occasions where you threaten the narcissist's control, either deliberately because you understand that is how it's done, and of course we'll address in a moment the question of whether you should be doing that or not, 
But moreover, you will repeatedly threaten the narcissist's control just by interacting or not interacting with the narcissist but being in the relationship and you are expected to have responded. So the fact that you don't ring us soon enough on our birthday to congratulate us will threaten our control. The fact that you make yourself a cup of tea and don't offer one to the narcissist will threaten control. The fact that you talk to somebody else in the bar before speaking to us will threaten control. The fact that somebody else is served before us at that bar is results in a threat to our control. The threats to control are almost infinite in nature. Now, will this, however, cause a triggered reaction, as some people would refer to it? Well, not necessarily. You see, if you're dealing with a lesser narcissist, they have a low threshold on their ignited fury. They operate really with a bit of a hair trigger. And for the most part, you will get a response from them. Often violent, certainly uh, verbal tirades, insult, put down, provocation, by virtue of the heated fury appearing. With a mid-range narcissist, you will get some kind of response, but sometimes it might be a benign one, because the narcissism chooses that for the purposes of the the preservation of the facade or you receive a response which you wouldn't necessarily think as of triggered many people think triggered is basically where the narcissist erupts but you might get a silent treatment instead you might get a monologue which is a word salad you might get a circular conversation which whilst frustrating you wouldn't necessarily regard as triggered and those manipulations and others are ones which are more likely to be doled out through the cold fury of the mid-range narcissist when it comes to the greater or ultra, you will really have to go some way to get the eruption from those narcissists. Instead, you're far more likely to receive a controlled response, the provision of charm and flattery, where the narcissist smooths their way back into asserting control over you, keeping the facade intact, and of course, making a mental note to get you later when you don't expect it and don't realise that it has come from that greater or ultra narcissist. So if you are expecting the narcissist to explode as if a thermonuclear bomb has been detonated, that isn't always going to happen. You will very easily be able to threaten the narcissist's control to raise the possibility of that explosive reaction, but whether you get it depends upon what school of narcissist you're dealing with, and the circumstances in which it happens, and therefore you're not always guaranteed to receive it. This, of course, then leaves us with our final point, which is, should you ever be looking to do this? And the answer to that is a very clear no. When you know that you're dealing with a narcissist, you should obey the first golden rule of freedom, because once you know you go, you get out and stay out. The issue is that if you take such steps to try and cause problems to the narcissist, you are likely, when trying to threaten our control, give us fuel by interacting with us. Therefore, that is something that we want. You will, of course, suffer an adverse consequence because the narcissist will be moved to assert control over you. You might get punched in the face. You might get a horrible verbal tirade. You might get upset because of certain things the narcissist says to you. And, of course, by interacting with the narcissist, you've entered the arenas of interaction and increased your emotional thinking, which will hinder your recovery. So, whilst it's eminently possible to trigger the narcissist by threatening the narcissist's control, it is not something that you should consciously and deliberately do, because that is contrary to, logical, to logic, it's contrary to your best interests, and it's contrary to the implementation and preservation of a no-contact regime. So, in short, there are lots of ways that you can trigger the narcissist by threatening the narcissist's control, but whether you will get an explosive reaction is far from guaranteed and ultimately you should not be looking to do this for the reasons that I've explained. This has been a Tudor treatment. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.